Hi, today we'll learn some important questions from analytical chemistry. These questions are also important for 10th board exam and also can be asked in a practical viva. First question, name two amphoteric oxide. Answer, zinc oxide and aluminum oxide. Second question. Name two neutral oxide. Answer nitric oxide and carbon monoxide. Third, name two basic oxides. Generally, metal oxides are basic in nature. So, magnesium oxide and calcium oxide are basic in nature. The metal oxide which is yellow when hot and white when cold. Answer Zinc oxide. Name two acidic oxides. Generally, non metal oxides are acidic in nature. So, answer is sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. right color of flame sodium golden yellow flame potassium salt gives lilac flame calcium gives brick red and copper salt gives peacock bluish green flame give examples of water soluble salts so all salts of sodium potassium ammonium and nitrates are soluble in water so sodium chloride kcl ammonium nitrate and lead nitrate are examples Name a salt which is insoluble in all mineral acid. Answer Barium sulfate BASO4. Name a salt which is insoluble in cold water but soluble in hot water. Answer Lead chloride PBCL2. Name the green color salt which decomposes on heating to give black residue. Answer copper carbonate which decompose to give black color CuO copper oxide with the liberation of carbon dioxide gas. Give name of reddish brown acidic gas. Answer nitrogen dioxide. What's the aim of brown ring test? The aim of brown ring test is to identify the presence of nitrate ion. That's NO3 minus. Give color of following precipitate. Calcium hydroxide gives curdy white precipitate. Lead hydroxide gives chalky white precipitate. Zinc hydroxide gives gelatinous white precipitate. Give color of the following precipitate. Copper hydroxide gives pale blue precipitate. Iron 2 hydroxide gives pale yellow precipitate. Iron 3 hydroxide gives reddish brown precipitate. Write name of 4 strong acids. So 4 strong acids are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, nitric acid and one more perchloric acid HClO4. Write names of two strong bases, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, NaOH and KOH. Name of the gas which get liberated when oxidizing agent like PB3O4 that is trilate tetroxide, lead dioxide, PbO2, MnO2 reacts with a concentrated hydrochloric acid. Answer Chlorine. Write name for the gas with the following characteristic acidic gas, which turns lime water milky, decolorize pink potassium permanganate solution, and also uh, change color of potassium dichromate. Answer Sulfur dioxide. Second, the gas has a greenish yellow color, it has a sharp, pungent, choking order, and turns moist, starch ordered paper blue black. Answer Chlorine. 
Next, the colorless gas with a rotten egg smell turns moist blue litmus red, turns lead acetate paper black. Answer hydrogen sulfide. The acidic gas having reddish brown color, which turns starch ordered paper black and turns green acidified ferrous sulfate solution to brown color. Answer nitrogen dioxide gas. Next, the colorless gas with a pungent odor which turns moist red litmus paper blue that means it is basic gas and which when comes in a contact with the HCl gives dense white fumes answer ammonia gas next the gas has no odor no color and form colorless liquid on cooling it has a no action on a litmus papers and turns blue cobalt chloride paper pink answer water vapor Next, the colorless odorless neutral gas which burns with a blue flame and when glowing candle flame brought near mouth of a test tube containing this gas gives pop sound. Answer hydrogen gas. Next, the colorless odorless neutral gas which rekindles a glowing splinter. Answer oxygen gas. The colorless odorless acidic gas which turns lime water milky when excess pass through lime water then it again turns colorless. This gas has no effect on acidified potassium dichromate answer carbon dioxide gas. Next the colorless gas with a pungent choking odor which turns moist litmus paper red and when this uh, gas <coughs> brought near ammonia use dense white fumes answer. HCL. Thank you.